Okay, so we're ready for the next step, which is actually installing the HP Morpheus VM Essential software. How do we do that? Well, I prepared already these two files that we need. So there are two files that you can download from the HP Software Center website. Uh, it's an ISO file and in that ISO file you will find these two files. There's a DEB file which is the actual hypervisor software that you will install and then afterwards we have the qcow 2 gz file which is then the source for the VM Essentials Manager software that we will run afterwards. So I used WinSCP or an alternative tool to upload these two files to the TMP folder of my server and it's now um, with these two files that we can proceed. So well, how do we do that? Well, to start the VME installation, I'm gonna uh, do a sudo. I need to have the rights, of course. Uh, apt install from the TMP folder. I will run that HP EVM 105 since I'm running uh, or I want to install the 805 software, which is the latest version at the time of the recording. Uh, you can use the tap button, as you can see. You don't have to type it in all completely manually yourself. Just hit the tap button and it will auto-populate that file. So for the sudo, I'm going to enter my password and then it will start with the actual installation, which I will confirm with a, a yes. And at that moment, now all the files will be fetched and installed on this system. So let's take a look at the installation. It doesn't take that long. So to be sure that the software was actually installed, uh, there's one comment that you need to keep in mind, which is HPE. VM and this is how it looks like so when you get into the console you can check for instance the host information as you can see um, I'm running I'm using a microserver gen 11 server um, you can see the virtual machines that are running well at this moment there are no virtual machines yet so you can validate later on once that you have VMs Keyboard layout, time zones can be changed and install VME manager is then the next thing that we're going to do after the installation of the VME software itself. Now, before we go there, I want to show you really quickly configure network because remember uh, I told you in a previous uh, video in the Ubuntu installation phase at that moment, you could configure your four interfaces now here. Uh, with the HP VME software, it can help you as well because also here um, HP created this interface where you can create as well, for instance, adding VLANs, bonds, bridges, um, and so on. Uh, so you can configure it here and you can dive into the details of uh, your four interfaces, which you will probably recognize from the other, the previous video of the installation. But so on my first interface is my management interface. You will see addresses, name servers. There's no DHCP, but there is routing. And then you will see on my third and fourth interface that I will be using, um, there's just an IP address and that's it. One thing that you might consider is uh, on the ISCSI interface is put the MTU to 9000. I'm not going to use it in my demo uh, environment here, but in the production environment, I advise you to enable MTU 9000. Of course, if you're complete entire network including the switches has then those jumbo frames enabled but here again you can compare and and this tool for me is a little bit easier to help you configuring uh, your interfaces because what is the alternative is of course you can always do a cat of the uh, net plan uh, file. So also here I use the auto tap auto populate 
but just to give you an idea for those who watch the installation video of my Ubuntu OS you will recognize these IP addresses name servers uh, routes and so on of my four interfaces so what you could do is or use VI or nano uh, to um, update this netplan YAML file yourself but watch out because it's quite sensitive to tabs and indents and spaces and so on uh, personally I prefer the HPE VM tool go to configure network and I think that their HP did a great job because it helps you to uh, take a look and configure those interfaces why do I say that as well it's these interfaces that you will need to know when you will be installing the VME manager but that is subject of the next video so stay tuned <laughs>